You, you just go for it now. Hi there, I'm but, here but at Dance if, Farm with if like... Chef Marcus. Um, and we, or Chef Marcus, is going to teach you how to cook a venison loin. So, steaming hot pan. Bit of, is that oil in the pan or butter, yeah, Chef Marcus? Where do you get the garlic oil from? Uh, Darts Farm Shop. Is it Bella Loxton's garlic oil from Darts Farm Shop? Yes, it is indeed. Cool. <laughs> right, and we're cooking away today on this yeah. cooker. This is an Arga dual control. This is an electric Arga from the Arga shop in Darts Farm. So, what, what are you looking for now with this steak? We're just going to sear the steak. Um, a nice bit of colour on it, uh, keeping all the flavour of, the, of the, the meat inside the steak. Um, seasoned well, so it's really nice, adds, adds extra to it. So what have you then, seasoned that with? Uh, just salt and pepper. Just salt and up. pepper. And, uh, when we come to finish, you know, in a bit, we will uh, butter in thyme, um, and then leave it to rest, cut it, it'll be lovely in the middle. Perfect. And uh, Chef Marcus, while that's in the pan, how do you know when to turn it over? Um, it's completely up to you and how you like your steaks cooked, so you know, you're, you're rare, medium rare, etc. Um, it's, it's judgment. Um, there is a, a technique of finger touching. Um, most people will move it too early because they're scared of burning it, but you can't really. You, know, you have to leave it there for a long time to, to, to mess it up. So, we're going to turn it now. It's been on there for roughly a minute, maybe a minute and a half. Very gentle. Soft hands, soft hands. That's it, warm heart. Gentle touch that. for a big fella. <laughs> you can see the nice bit of colour there. When we come to the butter foam at the end, it will only enhance the colour and make it look more of a golden than a sort of dark brown. So are you poking down on that now to try and find out how you think that's cooked? Um, yeah. We've got Nick, Nick here taking photos. Click. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, again, it's, it's, it's all about being confident enough to, to leave it and trust your instincts. Um, if you keep moving it around, you'll, you won't cook it evenly and it, it just ruins it. You've got so tell me about this bit of venison, what, what is it? Uh, so it's a venison loin um, from the Good Game Victory up, up in our unit. Um, it's, it's been hung, it's ready to go. We also have it on a special at the, at the pub and the pig. And which pub's that? Uh, the Globe in Limpstone. I don't know if you've been there yet, you check, check it out. Is it a thirty-eight pound steak? Uh, it's more than that. In weight <laughs> or price. <laughs> but yeah. You know, it's um yeah, it's really nice. So what we do now, put push down on it and see what you think. Um I'm gonna go for a little bit longer still because I wanna So I'll, what how before how... I add my butter to it, I'm gonna get it almost there and then when I add the butter. And what are we cooking this to? Medium, medium rare? I'm gonna go for medium rare. So we're three minutes into the cook at the moment. I just move it now to steer. The outer bit, you can see there. Is that why you can charge £38 pounds for your steak? Yeah, because you it. cook it so well? Well, I try to. Um, this is where it'll come out and be well done. And I'll look an idiot. <laughs> if it's yeah. well done, I'll send it back. That's it. And Gaines cook it again. And then you can have it on us. <laughs> <laughs> and so, we're three and a half minutes in. A little bit more on the end. Oh, and on the end. I'd charge £39 if you're going to see the ends as well. Uh, you know, you've got to take into consideration the burning fingertips. Um, <laughs> you won't notice me when I burn your house, so it's alright. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Will you work quite late at night, so you probably be burgling it in the middle of the day, if That's you did it. get any time off to do burglary. <laughs> so what do you reckon the temperature is in the internal on that meat now? Um, it's probably about 30 at the moment. Cause it, I'll you, tell you. You can see the bounce. Let's see, I've got that right. Look at that, 33. Oh, that's why you're a chef. That's an extra pound for that one, right. <laughs> This is now a 40 pound steak, Marcus. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So well, it's do looking good. Do you want to do for the time being while I just keep an eye on it? Um, I sing a song or something like yeah, that? Yeah, go for it. How much longer do you reckon? I reckon we've got about two more minutes before resting. Then, okay, so what have we got here? Our other ingredients. We're going to add some butter to it. Are we using any old butter? No, we're not. We're using Yo Valley. Yo, Yo, Yo Valley, which is great British butter. I think it's from Devon, but I actually think it might be from Dorset. Somerset. Somerset. So it's West Country-ish. So the butter's going in. Look at that butter. 
And a little tip, if you add a dash of oil, it stops the butter burning. But there's already oil in the pan. It doesn't completely stop it burning. Terms and conditions do apply. If you're an absolute imbecile and you get it smoking hot, it will still burn. And a little bit of thyme as well. You can use whatever herbs you want, whatever you like the most. Oh, uh, look at that. It will flavour the butter. And this is why chefs need to cook steak in a pan and not in a sous vide machine, <laughs> not on a it char thing. grill. It needs to be... Do it, do it some more. That's Nick's it. getting excited. Do it slowly, do it, do some more. Oh, this is... It's frothing. It's frothing, look at that. <laughs> We're all frothing. That is amazing. Change my pants. <laughs> look at that. You we almost don't need to say anything. Look at it. So what do you reckon the temperature is now on that bit of loin? Um, I'm hoping it would be near the 40, 45 mark. I'll tell you. Oh, it's going down. No. That's where you go wrong, see? You're going to just do a little bit longer in the pan. So we're about six minutes in now. <laughs> So when you're sat at your table in the pig and pallet waiting for your steak and you say I've been waiting hours for my steak, you might be waiting at least six minutes. So flip it again. That's going to be my presentation so much better. And while we're talking about this, let me just tell you about this pan. This is a handmade saucepan. Look at the logo on that. There we go. It's a handmade pan and it's made from metal by the guy who makes pans out of metal, <laughs> whose card I'll find Are you, you at some point. Uh, a blacksmith? He's a blacksmith, yeah, right? they work with metal. Yeah. And shoe horses, don't they? Yeah. Or is that a farrier? John Ashton, his name is John Ashton. He's, so, a John one Ashton of, pan. One of three brothers, one of them makes it out of sticks, and the other one makes pans out of hay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to probe again, what do you reckon, Marcus? Well, right, this time, take two. Let's go for aim for the 40 mark. Well, there we go. Perfect. Rest in time then. So. I think the first play we did was like going down was obviously not in far enough. Or yeah. Bad technique. Bad technique. So we're going to rest it on this on this board. Give it a rest. Give it a rest. And there we go. How long are we going to rest it for? Um, three to four minutes really. It's all about just letting the meat relax into itself. So what do we do for three to four minutes? Have a glass of wine, beer. Can I ed edit this video at some point to make it a bit shorter, cut bits out? Yeah. Is it on Facebook Live or? No. Ah, oh, sorry, yeah, of course you Yeah. I thought we were like live. How do I do that? Funny. No. Well, you do need to make it funny. <laughs> I might not bother editing it actually, I think it's quite entertaining. What do you think? Make it real life. Yeah. Just make it real. Just make it real. Make Just it keep real. it real. Keep it real. Is that, is that good? Yeah, it's, it's exactly the same as your face. <laughs> just, just, just digital. Just digital. <laughs> oh, yeah. I must admit, one thing I would say about these Argus is they're lovely at warming up the room. I'm currently wearing a woolen top inside a building and it's still summer-ish. So I am rather warm. Marcus is heading over to the sink. So what you could do while the steak is resting is use this opportunity as a chance to knock up a little sauce to go with it. Now what I'd recommend is you can go with a classic peppercorn sauce, so drop in a dash of vinegar, a bit of cream. If you use thick double cream it won't curdle and split. Um, and some whole peppercorns, a bit of mustard and mix that up, maybe a bit of stock. You can go with a Diane sauce uh, which has got tomato in it and um, not so much pepper. Or you could go with something really posh like a Bernays. Yeah. To make a Bernays sauce, you take the pot off the Bernays sauce, pour it into the pan and, and heat it up. So now, the steak is there. We're going to move. We're going to move. Good game goes on the road. So here we go. On tour. We're on tour. What's this? He hasn't got a safety net. He's not even wearing a crash helmet. Let me just check, let me just the old photography check. The old mm. photography check, which is... Yeah, it's, it's, is that long enough on the, on the time? So we're, not, we're nearly 10 minutes in now. It's just, you're just you, in, in my light. Sorry, so you can see the juice <laughs> coming out of the steak. Look at that. Can you believe it? <laughs> this is my video. 
Right. So Look yeah. at that. When you're ready, do a nice slow. Treat it like a lady and cut her slow. Look at that. Oh, maybe, and then slide that bit towards you. Oh, hang on, I missed the opportunity there. Marcus Chef on Pig and Palette. So let's have a look. Oh, oh, it's over. It's well over. So I'd say that's medium, isn't it? Yeah, more medium. That was my fault mucking about with the probe, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. I'll try to do. Uh, yeah, yeah, do. Yeah, maybe the. Yeah, you've done with the sharp knife. Well, that's better. Still smells good. Smells amazing. Yeah, we'll take a medium on that one. Yeah, I'll take medium on that. Well, see, so stuff like that. Once, once you put it, once you put it that, right. I'm tuck, tuck it around a bit. That's it. What's yeah. next, fate? Once, <laughs> once you've put it through Photoshop, it'll be um. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Well, uh, well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And it? thank you to the Argo Shop at Darts Farm. Thank you. Ryan. There we go. Bye-bye.